Okay, so this video is going to be talking about online booking and and the verification of data. So verifying the date that you actually type in when you do book online is what we're looking at. Now, now quite often they'll ask us, or, you know, you get asked questions about advantages, disadvantages of online booking and verification. How is the data verified? We'll go through all that on this now, okay? So hopefully, you, by the time you watch this, you'll be equipped to answer past paper questions on online booking and verification of data. Okay, so what they mean by online booking is, is really that it's now basically any sort of event or holiday that you, you go on, you can pretty much book it online. It could be cinema tickets, tickets for a football match, going to see a concert, you can book flights through like EasyJet, you can book hotels, train tickets, you can book your holiday online through travel companies websites. Okay, so this online booking is getting more and more popular. There's, I would very much doubt that any of you have been on any holiday or anywhere where it's not been booked online or at least at some stage, okay? And we're gonna look at how maybe how some booking systems work and we're gonna explain the type of verification methods that are used on those websites as well. Okay, so we're going to obviously be talking about advantages and disadvantages, and we're going to be talking about verification as well. Before we do that, though, I'm going to flip out into, I'm going to go online, actually, and just let you have a look at some stuff that we've got here. This is EasyJet, who are a budget airline, use, use EasyJet quite a lot. Okay, and this is, their on, this is their website, and from here I could actually book um, on holiday, I could actually book some flights. So I'm getting a little bit cheesed off today. It's as you can see, it's half past six. I'm still in school, so let's see. I, I think I'm not going to come back tomorrow. I've had enough of this, so I'm going to book something for tomorrow afternoon. Tomorrow, I'm going to going to fly from. I think I better fly from Bristol, so we better find Bristol on here. Okay, and there's Bristol, and it'll now show me where I can go to from Bristol. So. Uh, maybe somewhere, let's see if there's anywhere there's some surf, uh, no snow yet, so there's no point in flying to uh, Geneva, uh, ooh, there we go, let's go to, there we go, Bordeaux, fly to Bordeaux, I'm going to come back, fly tomorrow, I'm going to come back, ooh, I've had enough, I'm going to come back after half term in November, I'll ring in sick. I'm not in tomorrow now, it's not my fault. So I'm going to come back the 4th of November and I'm going to, and just me, I, my missus has got to stay in school, so in work, she, has, she works in a school. Okay, show flights, uh, what have I got? Brilliant, I can fly to Bordeaux tomorrow, I have one in the morning for £55. Brilliant, I'll put that, but uh, at the moment coming back, uh, I haven't got anything on those days, so I need to just scoot through, see if I can find an extra day. I'm um, looking like I won't be coming back for a while. Uh, no, there's no flights. So I'm going to have to come back a bit e earlier. Was it? I wasn't planning on this, I tell you. No flights, no flights. Oh, there you go, £140 to come back on Saturday the 2nd of November. So if I want to book those now, I can click that one to select it. And I click that one to select it. And now it's going to cost me £196 to fly there. So I'm going to have to... Um, Continue. I don't want to add any more flights. Okay, uh, what do I need? Cabin baggage. I've got travel insurance. Sports equipment. Well, I want to. I need to take my surfboards with me. So I'm going to take uh, my surfboard bag. Save that. Okay, so it's added to this. I've got a promotional code. My price is together. Two hundred fifty pounds. Let's continue. Uh, ooh, uh, no, I don't want any of that. No, there we go. Right, here we go. I'm ready to pay, just about. Uh, my basket, £250 in it. I don't want to stay there. I'm going to uh, find somewhere cheaper than that. So we'll just continue. They've offered me some hotels. I don't really want them. Let's keep going. And oh, I'm going to need a higher car, but oh, um, what should we have? Oh, we'll have a Sharan. There we go. We'll add that. Okay. That's now come to us. Whoa, that was £713 for the higher car. Continue and right now, this bit here is so that's what online booking and the sort of things you can do. Uh, now, this bit here is where we can talk a little bit about um, setting up the verification. Now, so far, I've put I've basically booked a holiday, I've booked my flights, I'm away for the best part of two over two weeks. Okay, it's going to cost me. I've booked my car, everything, I've booked it all online. They now need to know how to pay it and set up an account. Okay, now I've, I'm new to EasyJet, say. I, I'm not, but I'm gonna pretend that I am. 
because they're gonna ask me to set up an account now I have to enter an email address okay I'm gonna skip out of this a minute and I'm just gonna go I've just shown you how basically how easy it is to book online with something once I get if I if I had an account I click continue I'd be putting in my 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 credit card uh, number the expiry date that sort of stuff I done my email address they'd want my I just put my passport details in and so that but my flight would all be booked they'd then send me an email confirming what I've booked okay I'm just gonna go back to the beginning because um, I just want to show you some stuff uh, about signing in I'm gonna try and sign in only I haven't got an account yet but I'll need to make one so uh, I'm gonna click on register now if I want to register uh, so I'm gonna you know, I put an email address in Mr. Eaton ICT at Hotmail Com. Now, I'm going to need to confirm my email address. So I have to type in the exact same email address. If I don't, it won't let me continue. Okay. Because they've put some verification in there. What they're saying is, is to make sure that I type my email address in correctly. Can you see that my email addresses do not match? Mr. Eaton ICT at hotmail.com, Mr. Eaton at hotmail.com. It won't let me carry on until those two email addresses actually are identical. So let's type in there. Okay, I should be able to move on there. Yeah, I can move into the password field. And again, I've got to type the password. I've got to confirm the password again. Now, this is the EasyJet website verifying that my email address is correct. It takes the two. I type it in twice, it takes the two versions, it compares the two versions. If the two versions are the same, it'll let me carry on. If the two versions are different, it won't. There you go. So now my two versions of my email address are the same. It'll let it, the, the error message has disappeared and I can now type in my password. This is called double keying. Okay. Um, it's called double keying because you type it twice, the two versions are compared. If they're identical, it says, right, you've typed in your email address right, your password right. If they're not identical, it says you haven't typed them in right, you need to type them again. Okay, I then go through and I would type in all my, all my personal information. Now again, I would end up having to verify this myself. Okay, I go through it. There's no verification. These, this is a little valid. These little asterisks are a validation rule called a presence check, which means you have to fill them in. You can't leave them out. Okay. But when I get to the end and I click register, I have to do this myself. I have to check. So I do a visual check, another type of verification, where I just check that I've typed everything in correctly. Okay. All right. So we've just gone through the EasyJet booking process. We can see what an online booking system looks like. And I said, now we're looking at some of the verification. And we've had a little quick chat about the presence check, which is a validation method in there as well. Okay, I'm gonna just go back uh, to the PowerPoint presentation because we need to sort of finish this off, okay? And um, go back to the slideshow. We're gonna look at some advantages of online booking. Now, obviously, a lot of these are the same as um, shopping online. You can book 24 7, 24 7, 365 days a year. You don't have to go out to travel to the travel agents. It's gotta be an advantage, okay? Um, because you deal with the company direct, you deal with EasyJet and not a travel agent, flights and holidays are often cheaper. Okay? You type in all your personal data, they don't have to employ people to type your personal data in, you type it in yourself and then you verify it by checking that it's right. Okay? Uh, and because they don't employ people like that, and they don't employ shops on the high street or travel agents, their costs are less. Therefore, they can pass some of that cost savings going to either customer in the way of cheaper flights, cheaper holidays. Okay, you can also use websites like TripAdvisor to find out more about where you're planning to stay. So if I just go flip back to the internet and I've got TripAdvisor, this is TripAdvisor. So say I was thinking I'll book the Celtic Manor online, which you can do. I can uh, get prices and check in here. Yeah. You also get uh, reviews. So these are some reviews: five stars, reviewed in the month of October, poor service. So you can find out while you're booking stuff online, what other people have had experiences of where they've played, where they stayed in those hotels or flown with that company or stayed at that resort, things like that, okay? I'm gonna go back to, um, and also you can, you know, when you go to travel agents, you're limited to the companies that they deal with. If you're booking online, you've got a lot more options. You can spend longer, you can find out more about the different options there. If you book with a travel agent, you're limited to the companies and the uh, resorts that they deal with. 
you book, find yourself booking online, you've got a lot more choice. Okay. Disadvantages of booking online? Well, you might be worried about card fraud, and that's understandable. The same sort of the disadvantages of shopping online. Uh, you have to use your credit or debit card to pay for your booking, even if you're booking your cinema tickets to go to the view cinema tomorrow. You still pay with them with a card, and you might be worried about those card details being falling into the wrong hands, the, the company's website being hacked, or the database of customers being hacked and getting your card details. Okay. Sometimes when you're booking a holiday, you might prefer the personal touch of actually going to a travel agent, telling them what you want, and they sit down and find it all for you. You don't do any work, and they sort everything out. They book the flights, they book the hotel, they make sure all your, all your information's right. If you're booking online, you can't get that sort of service, that personal service that you would get perhaps in a, in a travel agent. Okay, and the final disadvantage is I've said earlier, you need to be careful that you enter the correct details as you're, you're responsible for entering your personal details. If you get it wrong, you type the wrong date, or you put the wrong person's name down, they won't let you fly, or the flights are on a different day, it's your fault. There's no comeback on anyone else. You've messed up. So you need to be careful that you enter the correct details as you're responsible for entering them. Right, so that's it. That's advantages, disadvantages, and the type of verification used on an online booking system. That's the end of the video. Good luck with the past week with questions.